The latest round of Dallas Cowboys rumors offers plenty of potential solutions for the team's roster heading into the bye week. Bleacher reports Matt Holder believes it is defensive tackle rather than linebacker that should be the Cowboys' top priority. The NFL analyst has two-time pro bowler Linville Joseph, currently a free agent, listed as a player the Cowboys should add now. Instead of adding a linebacker, they should look to add a run-stuffing defensive tackle as Jonathan Hankins has struggled in that role this season and, outside of Osa Adegazua, the position group has been underwhelming for Dallas, Holder wrote in an October 17, 2023, story about prioritizing every roster's weakness. Joseph has put together a 13-year career as a gap-filling interior defender and would give defensive coordinator Dan Quinn another option at his disposal if Hankins doesn't turn things around. Also, the 35-year-old has experience joining a team mid-season and contributing, having done that last year with the Eagles. Most recently, Joseph started eight games for the Philadelphia Eagles in 2022, notching 20 tackles in the middle of the NFC champion's defensive line. Joseph previously had stints with the Los Angeles Chargers, Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants. The Dallas Cowboys had an interest in signing Linville Joseph before the Philadelphia Eagles ruined the plans. There is no shortage of players linked to the Cowboys given the national interest in the franchise, but this idea has some legs. Philadelphia made a late-season move for Joseph in 2022, signing the him in November. Dallas Vice President of Player Personnel Will McClay revealed this past offseason that the Cowboys had an interest in signing Joseph, but the Eagles got to him first. It's part of managing your cap and all of the opportunities you have to improve your team, McClay said during a January 23 interview with Cowboys Hour. You know, Linville Joseph we were talking about and I was like, hey, maybe we can get him to join practice squad. And the next day Philly signed him. I think they got our phones bugged. Dallas Cowboys rumors. What other moves could the front office make? Dallas is 4-2 but still has plenty of areas on the roster that could use improvement. The good news is the Cowboys have a bye in Week 7, which should allow the front office to reassess the roster heading toward the second half of the season. Dallas has until the October 31 NFL trade deadline to strike a potential deal. Aside from Joseph, what are some additional moves the Cowboys could make? Dallas needs to be honest about how much of a disappointment Michael Gallup has been as a third receiver. Will the Cowboys give second-year wideout Jalen Tolbert or Kayvante Turpin expanded opportunities instead? It would not be a complete surprise if Dallas brought in another veteran wideout in exchange for a late-round draft pick. Tight end is being mentioned frequently as another position of need, but Dallas is more likely to keep giving their young players reps at the position. Finally. The Cowboys signed veteran Rashawn Evans following Leighton Vander Esch's injury, but the team could make a move for another linebacker for added depth.